Yo, what up? It's your boy, Mr. Oldridge, a.k.a. Chemist Nate, coming at you with Season 1, Episode 1 of Legends of Chemistry. We're going to begin with the father of modern science himself, Democritus. In the 5th century BC, this is the guy who came up with the idea that everything was made out of tiny atoms. The idea was that if you take something, even an apple, and you cut it in half, then you cut it in half again, then you cut it in half again, how small can you actually get? His answer to that was that there is an indivisible particle, which he called a tomos, which sounds very suggestively like the word atom, because that's where Dalton later got the idea for the word atom. They didn't know how the inside of the atom was organized. They didn't know a single thing. All they knew was that if you keep cutting it into its smallest bits, you'll eventually get to what's called atoms. He referred to it as the basic unit of matter, and some people are saying that Leucippus, his teacher, actually came up with the idea, but all of Leucippus's stuff was burned, none of it survived, and Democritus is all we got, so we give him credit instead. Democritus did a lot of other things for the world. He's the guy who have, he believed in a round earth when it wasn't cool to do so. He came up with the idea of a Big Bang Theory, even though he didn't come up with that word. He's like, oh, there was probably a little explosion and the universe came from that. And he came up with the idea that the planets form by the dust from that explosion all collecting together to make planets. That's the nebular theory, if you remember your grade 9 science. Fun fact, he's also the guy who came up with the one-third portion of the pyramid and cone volume equations. If you go on Wikipedia, he's even listed under aesthetics. Shout out to Chad. Epistemology, which is the theory of knowledge, ethics, politics, math, anthro. It was easy to be a jack-of-all-trades when there are no trades. He predated the Renaissance by a millennium and a half, even though you could call him a Renaissance man. But it's the atomic theory that my grade 11 chemists need to know. His idea of Democritus' atomic theory or whatever is that atoms were the basic building block. It's the smallest that each particle of matter can get. We now know that this isn't true. We have nuclear reactions that can break apart protons and neutrons, but he obviously didn't know about nuclear weapons, right? Um, between the atoms, he thought there was empty space. He knew that or thought that atoms were indestructible, which is pretty much true except for nuclear reactants. He also said that the atoms were always in motion, that there's an infinite number of the types, We've discovered 118 of them, but uh, yeah, there's more to come, so stay tuned. And that the atoms are always colliding with each other. But long story short, this is remarkable for being done in before Christ era. But no one believed him. Aristotle didn't believe him. Aristotle believed in fire, earth, air, and water as the four elements or whatever. And long story short, they believed Aristotle, not Democritus, for uh, 2,000 years or so. Um, Democritus was wrong about some stuff. He thought that the taste of atoms was caused by their shape. He imagined bitter things to be jagged shaped atoms. And he thought that sweet atoms were round and smooth to pass across the tongue. Um, and he also thought that the atoms themselves had the properties of the things uh, like Iron atoms were hard, and fire atoms, which don't actually exist, are light and sharp and stuff. Yeah, he was wrong about that. Fun fact, Plato hated this guy. Plato wanted all of Democritus' books burned. Oh, Plato was Aristotle's student. No, Plato's student was Aristotle, and that's why Aristotle hated Democritus. A lot of uh, mean girl gossip going on here. Uh, da -da, I'm just cruising through my notes here. Ultimately, Democritus is credited as being a founder of modern science because he was ahead of his time, and his version of the atomic model was not perfect, but it was the step that let John Dalton create the billiard ball atom. 
Science is an ongoing process of discovery. New breakthroughs happen, and they have to be built on the shoulders of others. Democritus gets credit for the foundation of atomic theory. Another fun fact, the Greek government had him on their 10 drachma coin from 1976 until 2002. Thanks for watching. Part 2 featuring John Dalton is next.